Hi, my name is Paresh and this is an exercise on how to manage cases in Microsoft Dynamics 365. At the end of the exercise, you should be able to accomplish the following on how to configure case parent and child settings, how to use customer service hub to identify any high priority phone cases, how to work with parent child cases and how to merge two cases together. The first thing that we want to do is to configure Dynamics 365's parent child case settings to allow us to be able to add some child cases. We want to ensure that when parent cases are closed, all the child cases will be closed as well. Now, before this can happen, we need to ensure that this behavior is configured. So to be able to configure that, let's click on the cog over here and then click on advanced settings. And once the advanced settings is open, click on settings and click on service management. Under case settings with record creation and update rules, you will find an option called parent and child case settings. And let's just open that. Now from the available attributes, let's just select some attributes over here. And it's important to select all the mandatory attributes uh, that are there for the case and the child case. So in this case, we will select case type, case title, contact, and then customer, then first response by entitlement, and then let's select priority. Once that is done, you can select the specified closure preference as close all child cases when parent case is closed and then click OK to save the parent child case settings. So the scenario looks something like this. You work for a company that provides help desk support for its customers. Your organization uses Dynamics 365 customer service hub to manage your daily activities and caseloads. At the beginning of a shift, you were told that the company is falling behind on phone support cases lately. So you need to give the phone support cases a priority and you need to start the high priority phone cases first. So the high level steps look something like this. Use customer service hub to identify any high priority phone cases, add a phone call follow-up activity to a case, add a child case to an existing case, use knowledge article to resolve a case, close a parent and child case and merge the two cases together. Now on the customer service hub, click on dashboards and then click on the down arrow key where the period is mentioned and select a custom time frame. So let's say we want to start with January until the end of this year and click on apply. So on the command bar, click on the show visual filter and then locate the case mixed by origin over here. And as you can see that the phone cases are marked by yellow. So click on the phone cases slice over here, which will filter all the cases. It will show you how many cases are there, which are marked as high, low and normal priorities based on, of course, um, the time frame that you have selected. Now, in this example, we'll locate uh, the high priority case service required sample over here. And for this case, um, the account or the customer is fourth coffee sample. So over here, we can see all the details about uh, this case and all the cases that have been opened for this account as well. Now, on the record timeline, click on the add info and activities button select phone call from the menu and provide the details for the phone call. For example, you can provide the subject as follow up call. In the call from, you can specify your user account. In the call to, you can specify the contact or the customer that you call to. The direction is outgoing and the duration, let's say it's 15 minutes and the priority is normal. Now you can click save and close to save the activity. So once you save and close the phone call activity, you can see the entry over here uh, regarding that activity in the timeline. Now we want to create a child case from an existing case. So as you're working on this case, uh, the customer also mentions that uh, none of the solution will work as they are unable to log in. So we need to reset the password uh, for this item. Uh, so you need to capture this in the child case. So for that, on the command bar, click on create a child case. And in the quick create case, you can specify the case title as service required password reset. Then the case type is a problem. And the origin for uh, this case is a phone call. And then you can click save. Over here, a related entry has been created for the same account 
and the case title is service required password reset the one we just created as a child case now to view the child case what you can do is click on the case relationship tab over here and then over here you can see the child case which is associated now click on the child case to open that case and then click on the details tab over here you will see that the parent case is the original case that was created so if you want to go back to the original case you can just click on this on the parent case and go back to the case now on this parent case, you can go to the related section and click on the knowledge base icon over here. And if you can find an appropriate article um, so which can solve the issue, you can click on the link over here to link the uh, KB article. And also if you want, you can send the email to the customer. And once you are done with that, you can click on resolve case to resolve the case. So over here, we can provide some more details like we have reset the password and maybe our billable time was um, one hour. And then we can click on resolve to resolve the case. All right, now let's see how you can merge duplicate cases. So you are discussing some open cases with a colleague and realize that you are both working on the same issue for the same customer. So as you do not want to have duplicate cases uh, information in your system, you decide to merge the case. So from the sitemap, let's just click on cases over here and let's just go to the cases uh, that we think are duplicate cases. So in this example, we'll select product catalog uh, request sample and then also select product question sample you select these by pressing the control key and clicking on the cases so you can select the multiple cases over here so we think that these two cases are related and we want to merge the case so over here on the ribbon click on merge cases now in the merge case window click the check mark next to the name called product catalog uh, request sample uh, to set it as the primary case and then click on merge and once that is merged successfully, you will receive a message and then you can click on OK.